welcome to DomainVestors.tv. I'm your host, Morgan Linton, and I am very excited to talk to all of you about my topic today. And this is a topic that I am unbelievably passionate about, and that's because it's something that's been ingrained in my head forever. My parents taught me this at a very young age because my family has always been interested in real estate and the idea of passive income. So today's episode is going to be all about how to generate passive income from domain names. So get ready, that's what I'm gonna talk about, but first, you have to pause for this one minute break while I tell you some news, some updates, and some exciting things going on here at DomainVestors.tv. First, you'll notice I have a branded player now. That's right, I've got the little D in the corner, and that's because uh, I have partnered up with Viddler, well, maybe partner isn't the right word, I am paying Viddler for a business account so that I can actually have my D logo on the side here and I can use all the other wonderful features uh, that Viddler offers. Uh, one of these is to really easily publish onto uh, iTunes. There's a lot of uh, major brands out there that use Viddler. Uh, Engadget is one of them. Uh, Wine Library uh, TV is another one. Uh, and there's a ton of other brands that use Viddler. I'm really excited to be using it now. If you do uh, videos online, you do a video blog, and you really want to take it to the next level, uh, Viddler is a great way to do it. Of course, I'll still be posting all this content on YouTube and on Vimeo because I feel that really you can't be enough places. Really, online now, you got to be everywhere where everybody's looking. So I'm still going to hit all those sources. But happy to be here on Viddler. Hope you like the D in the side here. And for all of you with a iPhone, an iPod Touch, uh, an Apple TV, you can watch me now from the comfort of your hands or your uh, bedroom on your TV, or your living room on your TV. So now for the topic today. And really, this is about passive income. This is about making your domains work for you. And what it really comes down to uh, is something that I learned uh, at a pretty young age because my family uh, is very interested in real estate and very interested uh, in business and starting your own businesses. And one of the things I was taught is that really when you want to uh, go out on your own and start your own business or start a company, uh, there's really two roads you can take. Uh, you can be self-employed or you can be a business owner. And there's really two key differences between these. Uh, somebody who is self-employed, if they walk away from the business, if they stop doing their day-to-day -day work, that's it. The income stops. They may get a little income, but they're not going to get the same amount of income as if they were there in the business. Uh, doctors, lawyers, great example of people who can be self-employed. If you're a lawyer and you have your own practice, and you're a doctor and you have your own practice, uh, this means that if you're the doctor and you don't come in and you don't see patients on a certain day, you're not getting paid. Same goes for a lawyer. My blog, blogging is another example, a uh, lot of work. If I don't write a post on my blog for 10 days, sure, I'll still get some income from uh, the revenue that I get from my affiliate partners. Uh, I'll still get income from people advertising my blog, but hey, if 10 days turns into 20 days into 30 days, my traffic's gonna go like this. Less people are going to want to advertise with me. Less people are going to be visiting my site, clicking on my affiliate links. I'm going to make less money. And after a few months, uh, the blog could fizzle up and die, which means that that really is something that I'm self-employed doing. I have to actively work and on my blog. It takes a lot of work. I have to really work every day to do things for the blog, whether it's writing posts, doing videos, improving the look and feel, contacting new advertisers. And really, a lot of that time comes onto my weekends, since it's really not my full-time job. So really, it's my weekends where I'm spending, you know, six to seven hours on a Saturday really focused on the blog and doing everything I can for it. And if I don't do that, then it's not going to be as successful. That's self-employed. You have to put your time in to get your money out. What I'm interested in, and what a lot of domain investors are interested in, is being a business owner. A business owner means starting a system that itself grows, which means that you walk away from the business, you come back later on, and it's actually making more money than when you left. And domains are the best example of how to do this. So here's really one of the best examples I always give anybody, which is I took a uh, one-month vacation last year, uh, went to Europe for three weeks and Mexico for a week. It's absolutely great. Uh, my girlfriend and I loved every minute of it. Now, here's the great thing about it. While I wasn't able to post on my blog, my blog is not the main component of my income. 
my domains are. And it's not selling domains, it's monetizing domains. I'm sure you guys know this. I make my money monetizing domain names. I still sell domains, but the bulk of my income comes from domain monetization. Well, here's the cool thing. I came back from my trip at the end of August, a month away, and guess what? I had my best month ever. I made the most money I had ever made with my domain names. And so that's why you really have to take a look and decide what you want out of a domaining business. Now, there are many different avenues you can take, but what I'm seeing lately is there has been a huge craze over development, which is good because that's better than parking, right? Parking, you have a static page with a bunch of links. I think there are good parking companies out there like YPark that do allow you to actually create uh, much more customized sites with content, but that takes time to do as well. But development is a great route because you can actually set a system up for yourself, set up a domain name so that it does rank better over time and it does make more money over time without you having to put your time into it. And so that ties into something which is automation, okay? When you're looking at monetizing a domain, now I've said content is king. You have to be adding new content as much as possible. Look for ways to automate that. I'll be talking about that a lot more in my book. It'll be coming out next year. I'm not giving away all the secrets right now, but I'll tell you this. You want to find ways to be able to take the domains you buy, put a website on that domain that will continue to grow organically over time using some automated systems to help you out so that six months from the day you launch the domain, it's making more money without you having to put in more time every single day. And that is running a business. If you look at people in the finance world, anyone that gets an MBA that rushes out to the finance world in New York City, they quickly learn they have to work these crazy long hours. However, not forever, because oftentimes somewhere along the line, they figure out a system for making money. They start a business and that system runs itself. This is why real estate has been so popular. People set up systems. And so with your domain names, you have to decide, do you want to spend all day tweaking domains and developing and working on getting every domain just right and then, oh, we'll maybe make this change and that change? Or do you want to try different strategies and develop a system? Elliot Silver was just saying this on Elliot's blog that he develops these systems. He looks for systems. And that's what you should be doing if you want to generate passive income with domain names. Rather than you having to work eight hours a day developing your domains and they don't make any money, so you redo them over and over and over again, trial and error, find a system that works, and then run with it so that you can look back and say, wow, six months ago, these domains were all making an average of a couple hundred bucks a month, and now they're making a couple thousand bucks a month. I've done it. I know you can do it too. And of course, continue to read my blog, watch my videos, because that's the kind of stuff I love talking about. That's what I'm going to be talking about in my book that comes out next year. And I hope this is a reality check for everyone, which is, yes, we love domaining. We love reading domaining blogs. We love knowing what's going on in the industry. The conferences are great. I'm looking forward to going uh, to my first conferences this year. But at the end of the day, it's all about running a business uh, and making money with domains. Passive income is something I'm passionate about. I think you all are too. And so take a look. Take a look at your portfolio. Take a look at where you're spending your time and figure out, are you running a business? Are you setting up a system that generates income even when you're not there? Or are you self-employed? Is this something that you have to actually work at eight hours a day? Not that there's anything wrong with it. We should all do what we love. I have a job that I work at every day. I absolutely love what I do. Wouldn't want to change it for the world. But I have a business where I've set up a system to make passive income and you can do the same. It just takes a second to do some evaluation and figure out how can you take a model and replicate it so you can make passive income with your domain names. Well, that's it for me. Very excited about this topic. I hope you are too. Please write some comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know systems that have worked for you, haven't worked for you, your successes, your failures. Let's talk about it. This is Morgan from DomainVestors.tv. Thanks for watching and have a great week.